Okay, here's an example of using the conversion factor method and the concept of direct proportion to convert between dollars and cents and vice versa. So it's a very simple some, uh, conversion factor that you should be used to. So we're given 300 cents. So I'm going to write down what's given. 300 cents. Then I need a conversion factor that's equal to 1. That's going to convert cents into dollars. So once I set that up, I can tell what has to go in here. Whatever has to go in here is going to get rid of cents and keep dollars. Now I just have to figure out what is that conversion factor. So there are 100 cents is equal to one dollar. So the cent has a hundred in front of it, so this is a hundred. And the dollars has a one in front of it, so that's a one. So you can see that now the cents is going to cancel out, and the only thing that's left over is going to be dollars. So now I just have to do the math. So 300 divided by 100 gives me 3. And if I want to keep track of my significant figures, that's 3 significant figures, so that would be $3. And that's it.